Hi friends, I'm here again in the, in the uh, sanctuary and I decided to sit next to this window. I do love this window. This is a picture of Jesus knocking on the door. And the one thing we always tell kids to notice is there's no handle on the door. So you have to open the door. Jesus isn't going to open it for you. He's there waiting for you. You just have to let him in. So today I'm going to read another book. It's called Rufus Loses His Cape. Have you ever lost something in your house that you can't find? We couldn't find a football the other day. Actually, it was outside under a bush. And boy, it took us a while to find it. And looking was kind of fun, but it's no fun when you lose something and you can't find it. So let's hear the story about Rufus and his cape. Rufus was very proud of his cape. He wore it everywhere. It made him feel strong and important. His cape was also warm and soft. When he felt sad, he curled up in it and snuggled in. It always made him feel better. Rufus also liked to use his cape for make-believe. Ooh, one day Rufus was pretending to be a mighty leader. He announced his presence by playing his horn on the big rock. His cape billowed out behind him. Rufus marched to the stream. He waved his cape like a flag to welcome incoming ships. In the meadow, he ate a royal picnic. His cape made a perfect blanket. It seemed like the fun would never end. It was a great day. Rufus yawned. All this fun was making him sleepy. He found a soft patch of grass under a tree, turned around three times and curled up. He reached up to pull his cape closer around him. But it wasn't there. Rufus sat up and looked around. His cape was gone. Rufus was frantic. His most favorite special something was lost. It could be anywhere. The more Rufus thought about it, the more worried he became. A big lump the size of a lemon grew in his throat. Tears started to boil behind his eyes. He walked in circles, trying to figure out what to do. Suddenly, he looked up to see his friends coming over. He looked so sad, they could tell something was wrong. What happened, Rufus asked Hal. My cape is lost, said Rufus. And he sniffled. <laughs> Have you tried walking back to all the places you've been today? That might help you find it, Hal suggested. But Rufus didn't want Hal's help. He was too sad and too mad. What a silly idea, he snapped. Ask Yuri to help you, said Ava. She can fly up high and see everything. Yuri nodded. She could do that. Rufus didn't want Ava or Yuri's help either. He was too upset. No, I can do it myself, he muttered. Just find something else to do, suggested Joe. Maybe you'll find it by accident. Rufus snorted and stomped off. Rufus sniffed the breeze. He couldn't even catch a hint of the smell of his cape he loved so much. Would he ever find it? I bet he's sad. Yeah. Rufus's ears drooped. He returned to the soft spot of grass under the tree. He shivered and sniffed. Today was perfect, he thought. How did it go so wrong? Rufus curled in, up into a miserable little ball and thought about his friends. They wanted to help him. He was sorry for not letting them help him look. Rufus took a deep breath and then closed his eyes to say a prayer. <sighs> Dear God, I feel so sad and frustrated. Thank you for friends who want to help me. Amen. Rufus opened his eyes. He felt a little better 
And then he went to find his friends. Did you find your cape yet? Eva asked hopefully. No, said Rufus. Will you help me look? I'm sorry I didn't listen before. Ava smiled. We forgive you. Hal asked Rufus to tell them all the places he'd been during the day. Rufus smiled and talked about his adventure. Had been a good day, right? I was a brave leader, bringing peace to all the land, Rufus explained. I welcomed great ships and ate a royal feast. It was quite a day, he continued. Then lead us, O oh brave Rufus, said Hal. The friends laughed as Rufus blew his horn and led his friends on a search for his lost cape. So they raced to the big rock where Rufus had played his horn. They hurried to the stream and looked in the reeds. They spread out across the meadow, searching through the flowers and tall grasses. Yuri flew up high in the sky to see what she could see. It's like they went from the big rock, they went down to the water, they went around here. Oh, they came, to, oh my gosh, look, they went, they went all over the place. Rufus was still sad and his cape was lost, but he was happy that his friends cared. That he, they cared enough to help him look. Suddenly, Yuri called out from the top of a tall tree. Rufus looked up. There was his cape fluttering in the wind. It must have blown away when he tried to take a nap. Rufus laughed and danced around in a circle. His cape was found all thanks to his friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed Rufus Loses His Cape. And I hope if you've lost something, you can find it. Take care.